It never ends. I'm so tired. I'm tired. I'm burnt out. I'm tired. I'm done of this semester. I just need to get through Friday and then I'll be good. Good morning, guys. It is Monday. <laughs> I was just reading my class group chat and so <laughs> someone said that's why I had the ingenious plan of spending this whole break studying and catching up. I wish I had followed it. <laughs> That is me. I had this perfect plan where I would stay on top of things, spend the break studying, be ahead so that I wouldn't have to stress this week. And guess what Sierra did not do? She did not study this break. So now I'm completely, I'm not super behind, but I'm not ahead. That's life. Eight to 12 is the old stuff I'm gonna review. And then one to five um, is gonna be the new thing. So that's what my plan is for the day. I'm making my schedule now. Um, hopefully I start by like 8.30. It is such a gloomy day. It is now 12.40. I only got one done. I was supposed to get two done. Both the parasites. Parasites are broken up into like the protozoas and the worms. And I only did the protozoas. But I feel like I was very effective. I did the sketchy, which I explained in one of my other videos. But if you haven't seen that, sketchy is basically like a cartoon that a lot of med school students use to learn concepts. And it's really good for like micro, which is like bacteria, viruses, parasites and fungi. I look at those cartoons and it really helps you memorize stuff because it has like little quirky things they do to help you remember things. So I did all the sketchies for the protozoas and I did that whole lecture and then I was supposed to do the other one, but it's already 1240 and uh, I was still very, I was productive, but I could have been more productive. I was taking too many breaks. It's 1240, so I'm about to get my lunch now from 140 and then hopefully get four more hours, like 140 to 540, six-ish. I'm moving on good time right now. This lecture was really short, it was only an hour and the professor talks really slow so I was able to double speed it. So it was only 30 minutes, so it took me less than an hour to get through it, but I, I actually like was stopping and trying to memorize it as I was watching it, which is why it's almost been an hour now. Two sketchy videos are online for two of the viruses I learned. I learned about like measles, mumps, rubella, um influenza might as well get those sketchies out the way i've been very good today and not distracted since lunch which is good so i'll be back I just finished watching the second lecture it's like 4 55 so it's almost five o'clock I'm so proud of myself today. Um, I've been seeing all these tweets lately saying like, can we just skip these last five weeks of the year and go to 2021? Or like, I have no energy left to finish out the school year. And I feel like this weekend, I was feeling like my brain just isn't in it. I just can't do these last two weeks. But surprisingly today, I was barely distracted. I pretty much stayed off my phone the whole day and just did my work. And I was actually productive, which I'm like shocked about. And I got a lot done, which I'm glad about. I reviewed one lecture and did two new ones. And I'm getting ready to watch the sketchies for this last one I just did that was herpes and all the viruses associated with it. So I'm about to watch these sketchies, work on my video, and then figure out what I'm gonna do after that. But I'm just happy that I've been productive today pretty much and that I finished. I just finished uh editing this video is 27 minutes it's a life update or not even a life update it's just a med school update first video back i'm feeling good about it and it literally says an hour so <laughs> it's already like 6 30 p.m now i hope it's quicker than an hour so we'll see but i'm making the thumbnail now i completely forgot to pull my camera back out but pretty much i ended up eating and then i did all my laundry which was good i felt good about that i uploaded my video and then i did my hair blow dried it because i'm getting ready to braid it up so y'all will see that i'm gonna start i'm probably gonna start the braids tomorrow so yeah i was not supposed to go to bed this late it's like 12 40 so i'm not gonna get my eight hours because i have to wake up at eight or i'm probably actually gonna wake up at 7 45 so I'll get my seven hours, but good night, y'all. It's the start of a good week, and I'll see y'all in the morning. Whew, good morning, y'all. 
it's Tuesday. Happy December. It's December 1st. December is usually my favorite month of the year, but this year it just it seems like all stress, honestly. But I tried to wake up <laughs> earlier, but I just couldn't. I went to bed too late, which I'm not doing anymore this week. It's 8.20 now, which isn't too late. It's just, I have a doctor's appointment, so I'm only gonna have like two hours to study right now. I have up two meetings, 1.30 to five, which takes up literally four of my hours. And then I have this dentist appointment that's gonna take up. Today is just probably not gonna be as productive. I'm gonna have to go until like eight, nine actually, probably. Oh, it is chilly. Oh, a chair. Yo, it is officially December because it is no, my chair. Guys. It is cold outside. I'm heading to my dentist appointment. Let me turn the heat all the way up because it is cold and i like my car to be hot i got about halfway through one of my lectures i need to get to so i still have one and a half to go and then i have one new one to watch and the other new one i have to watch the other new one i have to watch is in a meeting today at 3 35 so i'm already that's already built into my schedule oh, i literally look crazy and i don't care i always look crazy because um but yeah so i'll see y'all later my mouth is so dry always after the dentist because they be having your mouth open for so long but it's like almost 11 o'clock so that took like 30 40 minutes so that's not too bad i'm back at my desk i ended up basically taking my lunch break because now it's 12 i got home at like 11 15 and now it's basically almost 12 15 so i wasn't planning on but i figured i needed it anyways because i'm about to be on meetings for four hours so it's good to take my break now it's 5 30 something about meetings online virtually just drains me so i just finished the goal is to be done by eight hopefully i'll be done before them but i have two more lectures to do pretty much. The presentation isn't aesthetically pleasing, but I made lemon butter garlic scallops with sauce. You can see the sauce is bomb. On the side, we have red beans and rice and okra and corn as my vegetable. Hey y'all, I just finished working out. I did a quick 20 minute hit workout. I'm glad I did it. But now I'm getting ready to shower and then doing my hair in knotless box braids. And everyone says it takes them about like 10 hours around 10 hours to do them 10 to 12 instead of doing that in one day i'm breaking it up into like basically the rest of the week so today's tuesday so i'm gonna try to do a couple hours tuesday wednesday thursday and be done by friday so i'm giving myself four days and tonight i want to work from every night from like 8 to 11 ish but tonight is already 10. This is my hair, y'all. I just worked out and sweat a little bit, so it's a little frizzy. But um, I'm about to re-blow dry it real quick so it's more sleek because you want it to be as sleek as possible for the braids. This is what it's looking like. So, oh, this one's messed up. These are the braids so far. They are tiny. I didn't even mean to do them this small, but I don't know how to do them any bigger without them looking crazy. So I think it'll be fine to do them this size. I just need to make the part smaller, I think. But I got two rows done tonight. It's 12, so I'm gonna head to bed now and get some more done tomorrow. I was tired. I woke up at eight, but I just laid in bed on my phone and it's almost 8.30 now. 
This is what I do every day. It's 9.30, I just finished my first lecture. It was on upper respiratory infection, so you're common cold. And I'm really excited because I found out that the meeting I thought today was 4.30 to 7.30 is only a 45 minute time slot. And I got the 4.30 to 5.15 slot, so I got the first slot. So after 5.15, I'll be done, so then I'll have more time so I can go over more things. Done the second lecture. I'm about to watch the sketches for adenovirus and parvovirus. All right, y'all, so I just finished the last lecture of the day. Also, y'all, I got hyped last night. I was watching House and they thought someone had smallpox, but smallpox was er eradicated like a really long time ago, but something was not adding up and they couldn't figure out what it is. The pox like spared the palms and the soles of her feet. And because I'm in infectious diseases right now, we were learning about like recursive infections and how some of those spare the palms and feet. So in the beginning, um, when they first said that, I was like, oh, what if it's this? But I was just like thinking that, not knowing what the real answer was. Tell me why in the end it ended up being that. And I got so hyped because I'm like, what? I solved the case before they did. I'm learning stuff. So yeah, med school, get at your girl. Hire me as your new infectious disease physician because I just cracked the whole case. <laughs> My hair looks crazy because the other half of it is in the braids. Um, but I just finished doing my one row of hair. It is now 125. I went 25 minutes over my break. You guys, I'm so horrible. I only got through one out of the three I need to get to, and now it's almost 3.30, so I have 30 minutes left before I need to start preparing for my meeting at 4.30. And I just spent the last 30 minutes on my phone going down a spiral. Putting the phone down, I have 30 minutes. I have two things left. They're both quick, so I'm going to try to at least finish one and then just do the other one after my meeting. We have AMP, AMP, bisargosterol, which creates pores in the cell membrane, which leads to the leakage of intracellular content, um, disrupting basically leading to cell wall lysis. It's fungicidal. It has a very broad spectrum of action, so you only save it for very serious um, inf like infections. Then you have the azoles. The azoles work for binding to a cytochrome P450 fungal enzyme, um, and that inhibits, it decreases the synthesis of ergosterol, but it inhibits all human p 450s as well, so you'll have drug-drug interactions with these. All right, so then you have the echinocannons like castle fungin. This is like the beta-lactam, but for fungi, so it, it, it's a cell wall synthesis inhibitor. It works by binding to beta-glucans and inhibits cell wall synthesis. I look so crazy. I have this bun. Ugh! <laughs> oh, it went by super fast. So we had a patient, a patient, um, and we had to do like a history of physical. So I did not practice. I, the history part is pretty much easy for me just because we've done history so much and that they're so repetitive that you just start to memorize it. So history, I feel like I could do like in my sleep. Like I know the history questions really well, but the physical, I have not practiced that literally until like 10 minutes before I had my call. So I was like literally freaking out because I forgot everything. But like the patient had come in with a cold and like, an ear infection like they had ear pain and sinus so it was like possible ear infection possible sinus infection possible cold like just regular stuff so you don't need to like palpate the liver and the spleen and the abdomen and stuff if you're just if they come in with that there's a lot of stuff you don't have to do so i was just like <laughs> flustered like i don't know which ones to do which ones that to not do so i didn't do everything i did a couple of things it surprisingly went really well. Like there's no answer in the end. They just are testing you on how well you um, did the physical, the history and physical. Um, and then he gave me everything that I should have asked and everything that I should have done. And I asked pretty much everything I needed to ask in the history. Um, physical, I did everything I needed to do. And then I did extra cause I wasn't sure. So you don't get like points off for doing more, but I did do like more than I had to. So that was good, but I got really good feedback from my instructor saying like, cause he asked how it was after and I was like, oh, I kind of felt flustered and rusty because I haven't practiced it in so long. So it didn't feel as natural, but I feel like it was okay. And he was like, what? Like it was super natural. You did everything super thorough. You communicated very well. You hit all the points. You did very extremely well. You're the full package. 
um you hit all the points you need to hit you ask questions in a good way you're inviting you're friendly like he was gassing me up saying like you did everything perfect basically so i'm like oh okay bet <laughs> prepare 10 minutes before i had to come on so it always feels so late every day at five because the sun goes down at five and it gets so dark so it's like five fifty it's like five twenty now. I kinda wanna have my evening tonight. <laughs> I kinda wanna have my evening tonight. So I think I'm just gonna do the one more um lecture that I had to study that I didn't. And then after that I think I'm gonna work on my hair for a bit and then work out. I'm about to start running on the treadmill, y'all, because I gained a couple Thanksgiving pounds and I need those gotta go. So I think I might get on the tread. But first, I'm going to look at this lecture. Hopefully, this lecture takes like 45 minutes or less because I'm tired. Be done by like 6, 6.15-ish. Work on my hair until it's time to work out at like 8, 9. And then probably eat, work out, and then probably work on my hair for a couple more hours. And that's what the rest of my night is looking like. This is my setup. I know other med school students can probably relate, but like, are you ever just tired of learning? Like, <laughs> I have to learn on a daily basis. It's always new information. It's always stuff you don't know, and I'm tired of learning. I just don't know how much stuff my brain can take in. Like, this is crazy. But let me finish this up. I just got done from doing some cardio. I have a um, treadmill in my house, so I just did two miles on the treadmill. I think I might do like a, a quick 10 minute ab workout. Um, and then I'm a shower for dinner. I had some broccoli cheddar soup, just something slight. It's 11.30 almost and your girl's going to bed. So good night. <laughs> I look absolutely crazy, but good morning y'all. It's Thursday, this week is going by really fast. It's Thursday. It is 9.25, is my issue is, I need at least an hour after I wake up to study. Like I need an hour to myself before I start studying. So waking up at eight, I keep needing this hour and then I'm not starting till nine. I need to wake up at seven and then start at eight. But the issue with waking up at seven is I need my eight hours. So if I needed to wake up at seven, I would need to be going to bed by 11. But my issue is that I go to bed at 12 every night, so. That's something I need to work on, going to bed earlier. Y'all, I'm so tired. I just wanna crawl up in bed. I'm feeling unproductive and uh, it's stressing me out because I know that, so my exam is on Friday. Next Friday, so tomorrow's Friday. So my exam is the Friday after. So I literally have a week left to study and I know that I'm gonna be spending like all next week cramming basically. Uh, sure, I have to get stuff done now, but I just don't want to and I'm just tired and I don't feel like it. Uh, I don't know what it is about today, but there's something in me that just can't. But how bad would it be if I just didn't study? It's just two lectures I need. <sighs> Maybe I'll just skim it, the two lectures skim them. I'm just so, I'm, I'm not in it. My head is not in it. I just wanna watch videos and be on my phone the rest of the night. Today was, a not so great day. I got some stuff done, but I wasn't as productive as I could have been. I looked over to one of the things I had to study and I started looking at the second one and like my brain literally just gave up on me. Tomorrow, hopefully I wake up feeling better in a better mood. Right now it is 6.10. I can't believe I literally spend my days on a computer from 8 a.m. to evening every, it's, Sometimes you gotta look at your life like, dang, this is really my life. But it's now 6.10, I'm currently still on the computer. Ooh, it is 6.30 on the dot. I finished my work and I'm calling it a night. I don't even care anymore. I'm about to start working on my hair for a couple hours. Then I'll probably do the tread again tonight. Get out your girl.
okay. These are the final results. Oh, look how long they are. I love, these are my favorite braids I've ever done. So I finished, oh my edges are already not, this edge control don't work. But I finished my braids. They're super long, super cute. These are my favorite braids I've ever done. These are my first time doing knotless braids. And they came out so bomb, so bomb. I literally love them. These might be my new, my new go-to. They're flat, they're super lightweight. It only took less than two packs of hair. But yeah, so I literally got nothing done today after. Oh, it's a, it's a bug. I don't wanna kill it with my hands. But I might have to, no, I'm gonna use a napkin. These are the best braids I've ever done. They're so cute. They're lightweight. They don't take that much hair. I love knotless. This is my first time doing it and they ended up bomb. I've done regular braids before, but never knotless. But yeah, so after I finished at 6.30, I just started doing my braids and I finished at 10.30. So it took me four hours. So all together, it took exactly 10 hours because I did two hours on Tuesday, three hours on Wednesday, and then I did five hours today i did one at lunch break and then four hours just now so it took 10 hours all together it's now 11 no working out for me tonight but i didn't even eat dinner it's 11 o'clock i'm about to just go to bed but yeah i'm hype about these i'm hype about i'm hype about these but yeah i'm gonna go to bed i can spend tomorrow studying and yeah i highly recommend good night y'all Oh, another day of not getting up. I'm so tired and it's Friday. I gotta be productive today. So I woke up at eight, but of course it's nine now. I laid in bed for an hour because I couldn't get up and then I went on Instagram and just couldn't get up. So it's nine now, I'm about to start my day. Ugh. Ugh. All right. Today will be productive. Um, I have nothing, I have no meetings, nothing to do today. So I just wanna bang it out, get stuff done and have my evening to myself. Today is not looking good, y'all. Today is not looking good, y'all. Ah. It never ends, I'm so tired. I'm tired, I'm burnt out. I'm tired, I'm done of this semester. I just need to get through Friday and then I'll be good. Five exams within a week. Ooh, ooh, five exams, so I'm so tired. I only got one lecture done, it's 12.30 or 12.24, and I got one lecture done. Usually I have three done by this time. But I'm not gonna take a lunch break today because I don't have time. Y'all know I'm the worst, it's 1.30. I was supposed to not take a lunch break and I did. I've been BSing for the past hour, so now it's 1.30, so I'm gonna get back on track. So I'm about to watch my next Look, show. Oh, I'm so tired and out of it, but I'm bringing it back to focus right now. Whew. You guys, <laughs> I know I'm a sh I'm ashamed of myself. I am ashamed of myself. I only got two things done out of the four things I need to get done today. But I just have nothing in me and now it's almost six o'clock and I'm just hungry and I'm tired and I just don't care anymore. <laughs> so I'm about to get in the shower. I'm closing my stuff. I'm just done, honestly, I'm done. I'm and I'm gonna just have to cram for this exam and hope I pass because you see how bad my under eye looks? The stress is getting to me, but all right, y'all. Y'all, I am really obsessed with this mother freaking hair. Like, this is the best hair I've ever done. But I'm trying to figure out how to tie it up for the shower. The best thing about these braids is that with regular box braids, okay, ooh, it hurts. Like, you can't like move it a lot or put it in ponytails on the first day when after you get box braids because it'll be really tight. But with these, they're not tight, so you can put it in any style already. Y'all see me in my natural state. All right, shower time.